Miami Blue is a small, brightly colored butterfly native only to Florida. Barely larger than a thumbnail, hundreds of thousands once commonly ranged across the southern peninsula south through the Florida Keys. Today, the story is entirely different. In just a few decades, the Miami Blue disappeared from many of its former strongholds. By the early 1990s, it had seemingly vanished from the state and was feared extinct. Fortunately, a small population was rediscovered in 1999 within Bahia Honda State Park in the lower Florida Keys. But with less than 80 individuals remaining, the Miami Blue was now one of the rarest insects in North America, perilously clinging to existence. Happily, the butterfly received a helping hand. Acting quickly, the state of Florida listed the butterfly as endangered and launched an extensive conservation program. Led by scientists at the Florida Museum of Natural History, efforts focused on research, public education, and the establishment of a laboratory breeding program. Beginning with 100 eggs collected from the wild, the captive colony grew quickly. Like all butterflies, the Miami Blue goes through a four-part life cycle. Females deposit the tiny bluish-white eggs singly on the flowers or new growth of the gray knicker bean plant, one of only three known caterpillar host plants for the little butterfly. The slug-like larvae grow rapidly and are regularly tended by several native ant species. The Miami Blue has specialized organs that secrete small amounts of sugar and carbohydrate-rich droplets, which the ants feverishly consume. In return for the plentiful food, the ants protect their plant-eating companions from roaming predators by patrolling the surrounding plant and aggressively attacking intruders. The developing larvae eat the tender vegetation and within just a few short weeks are fully grown. They stop feeding and often wander extensively before firmly attaching themselves to a leaf or twig with silk and molt for the last time into a compact black pupae. About 10 days later, they emerge as beautiful adult butterflies. The same cycle is repeated throughout the year, yielding several generations. Although relatively easy to breed in captivity, success takes time, a lot of hard work, and considerable creativity. Keeping the fragile creatures alive under laboratory conditions presents many challenges, particularly for the adult butterflies. Mated females are placed in small cups to lay eggs, but without access to living flowers, artificial nectar has to be provided. After much trial and error, a somewhat elegant solution was devised. A cotton swab soaked in Gatorade was placed in each cup. This artificial flower could periodically be refreshed with Gatorade nectar using an insulin syringe. The solution enabled the butterflies to feed on their own schedule. The Gatorade had an unexpected benefit of outperforming all the other forms of artificial nectar tried, substantially extending the female's life. The longer a female butterfly lives, the more eggs she will lay. The captive breeding program continues to thrive. Now some 30 generations old, it has produced more than 30,000 individuals, making it one of the largest such efforts in the nation. Field reintroductions and numerous additional research projects and educational initiatives continue, boosting the butterfly's chances for a full recovery. With the ongoing support from countless organizations and a little help from Mother Nature, there is good reason for hope that the Miami Blue will again flourish in South Florida.